Welcome to Sanoye. Welcome to Sanoye. This is a place of hospitality, a place of peace, a place of love and harmony. Okay. So enjoy your stay in Sanoye and I can rest assure you everything is going to be to your expectation. Amen. Welcome. <laughs> so, like, cheers, <laughs> is taking me around Sanoye so um, is, we're at the entrance of Sanoye right now we're on this little bridge so fast so is there anything symbolic about this bridge uh, anything symbolic uh, I think I think I should have asked some more questions before bringing you here you had to call it right at the bridge but I remember the last time we had uh, an accident that was around 2010 to 11 uh, a truck carrying plane came from the other way around and then but then we had a bridge around the side okay. yeah yeah right around the side it was a plank bridge and unfortunately based on the weight of the bus of the truck uh the bridge collapsed and we had one person die in a particular accident so wow, that yeah that so sad. The, yeah so that claimed the attention of the government and under ellen johnson regime through the senator joel howard taylor uh we were able to have this bridge constructed yeah as you are seeing it now Okay. So, so I think that's so far the only symbolic thing, and maybe it's the entry to Sanoye. Yeah. Okay, so as we take the our tour around Sanoye, what are some of the things we should expect to see? So, like I said, you should expect to see a lot of natural attractions. You should expect to see hospitable people. I'm sure you already started experiencing that the moment you got at the yes, parking yes. in Toyota. Uh, you should expect to see um, great places, historical uh, regions, monuments that have been recorded in history. To, to be places that are remarkable for the future generation to learn about. Uh, you should also expect to see, I think, so many good things. All uh, right. Let me just summarize everything. Okay. So many good I things. I mean, say, Fanti, yeah. one more guess your bread writing so fast, so it's not telling us anything by but sound of you. Yeah, so. Let us, let us start it. Okay, Fanti, one more guess say it. But I can rest assure you, me not saying it doesn't mean that my bread is rotting. You're going to see so much <laughs> oh, so good. You're going okay, to experience I like the, the best of time in San Luis. Let's take the challenge. I'm looking forward to that. Definitely. Okay. okay. <laughs> guys um so we're at the private school one of the three private schools that are in sanoya district and um, um fasu can you please come to tell us a little bit about this school like uh, did you ever attend this school oh yeah yeah i attended this school in 2010. 2010. Yeah, yeah this is the kissing marie johnson Lutheran school one of the three uh private schools we have in sanoya town not the district, but the town. Oh, the town. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, my bad. Yeah. So it's owned by the church. It's owned by the yeah, church. Yeah, by the Lutheran Church. Oh, okay. Yeah. And did you graduate from this school? Yeah, yeah, I graduated from here. Uh, I think if you look down there, you see my project. Uh, that was 10 years ago. It's incomplete right now. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, I graduated from here. Oh, okay. Yeah, 2012, 13. Is it, was it 12th grade? No, not 12th grade. I was 9th grade. 9th grade? Yeah, yeah. Way... So the school now reached the 12th grade or no, it's still 9th grade? No, it hasn't. We only have one high school within the whole district. Oh, the whole okay. Sanoye district. And yeah. is that the public school? Yeah, that's the public school and we're going to go there. It's like a stone throw away from here. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we'll get there and then you all see the public school. Yeah. Okay, so let's continue on the journey. Okay. 
Oh, they plum gray, oh. Yeah. I've seen it one time. It's going on red and red and red. Red and red, yeah. To my horse, everybody that's like eating plum, plum can fall down, everybody. Yeah. No, our own can start getting red around, around me. Around me? Yes. Oh, okay. And because the trees are no. too many, no, no. Because the tree, the trees are too many. Most of the time, we we get fed up with the plums. Yeah, and you, you see that uh, around May June, uh, they will be all around like where in mozzarella people running when one plum drop. I the, see. Uh, yeah, it doesn't happen here too much. Maybe sometimes it's the jam, the German plum. Okay. We call it here the wet man plum because uh, they did not start growing here when missionaries came. They came with those plum seeds and then planted them here. Oh, so okay. they are scarce. In this particular region, only pe people own them. Unlike the country plum or the traditional plum, they grow. They are like wild plums. Yeah, they grow up everywhere in the bush, and so people don't own them. Yeah, you are at, at liberty to pick them anytime, and because they are in excess, we don't really have time to eat it too much. Unless maybe you're hungry. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this is your unfinished project. Yeah. My unfinished project, and that's oh, why. Oh, here's your name. <laughs> Number three, Fazul Zemasa, yeah, quite secretary. Yeah, secretary. <laughs> okay, yeah, so Is 10 years ago. Yeah. No family, go to Clinton. Yeah, yeah, also, we're going to say yeah right now, but I just decided to stop to show you the homework. So the homework, when you're walking, you have long trousers, it's not good because it's gonna stick on the, the, the long trousers and then you have to take it from in and they can juke your skin if you don't remove it. I mean, it's really hard to deal with, but it's one of the many things of walking in and in grass. You will find a homework there. And I'm hoping that they don't stick to my socks. Oh, I'm seeing two already. Ooh. Every farmer will plant cassava. Like the plain arrows and potato. Yeah, so working and seeing cassava patches all around shouldn't be a surprise. I think we see one here. This mm. is owned by another person. You okay. see another this side. This is owned by another person. If you walk another place, you're going to see it as well. <laughs> we still have to enjoy the dry season, uh, right? Anyway, yeah. Before the rainy season comes, well, you know, rainy season can't connect creators don't really no. get the chance to really do videos uh, surely, like this. Surely. So we're on our way to say it, huh? Yeah, no, we're on our way to what, the public school, but we're using the back road to cross the Seya Creek. Seya, Seya yeah. Creek. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna see the creek. I really, I really like the thought of that. Yeah. So, um, Pastor, what are some of the fond memories you have growing up here? Uh, I remember uh -huh. joining a lot of children clubs. Okay. And in Sanoye. In Sanoye. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was part of Save the Children Club. I was okay. part of the UTT Social Club for children. And one of the means of sustainability we 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 had as a group was getting engaged with agricultural projects. Okay. So yeah, I think we are around one of the places. Yeah, the I'm seeing a lot yeah, of yeah, cassava farms. Is that yeah. for us anyway? People, okay. people have actually re replicated the process by doing the same. Okay. Yeah, but the vast uh, forest you see down there or bush, they were we, we used to use by then to have our agricultural projects done. And whatever we get from there, we sell it at a higher price because we were children now. <laughs> we sell we sell it at a higher price and then people buy it. Once they buy it, we use the money to carry on all our activities that carry on health awareness, yeah, carry on all our youth, let's say children developmental pro projects or programs around within the district. So those are some of the things I remember also entering our bush and I think so naughty. I, I usually get on farm with some of my colleagues and we steal people's materials and they run away from there and come back. Those are all childhood memories that I think they are so fun to remember. Pronouncing your name right? Okay. How are you doing? I'm fine. Okay. And he's fast as camera man. <laughs> <laughs> For today. <laughs> For today. So that Fasu and Lune. Yeah, Lune. That 
Lonely. Lonely. So he, Lonely. Yeah, he's my child. Two of them, that two of them finish our palm one today. No, 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 no. no so no, we no, get crushed. No, that true. I think I'm wasting. No, 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 no Tiger said the truth. Okay. I'm wasting. I'm wasting the one who tried. Are you? No. Are you? No. Okay. So that that fast, we're not talking to, but we're talking to you. Okay. Because that fast wrong us. Okay. No problem. Fast wrong us, right? Yes. Yes. That fast way is a bit blame. The snakes are most of the time uh, afraid. Of humans? Yeah, afraid of us. And then humans are afraid of snakes. Yeah, we are afraid of it's fast Yeah. Uh, we just need to come to a common understanding. At least for them to know that we're not we're not trying to harm them. Okay. Though some people eat snakes and I'm like, what is wrong with y'all? It's normal here. People eat snakes. Yep, I'm a pretty sunflower. <laughs> Hey guys, so we finally reached a public school here in San Diego and this public school is one of the historical attractions that um, is listed on Google for you to see when you visit San Diego. So make sure you see this place when you visit San Diego. And San Diego is a beautiful town, but it was affected by the war a lot. So um, a few historical buildings left and the Lutheran Church is one of them. The current Memorial Lutheran Church. It was built in 1942. This church is still beautiful as ever. I was like, wow, how is this still standing so strong and it looks so good? And it was built in 42. 1942, I'm like, that's amazing. So the inside of the church looks a little ruined, but people are still using it to praise God every Sunday. And this church is right next to the San Jose Clinic. This clinic was more than as after the Pan AM flat 151 crash um, on a hill near San Jose town um, in 1951 and all the 40 um, people on board, they died. And you're gonna get more information about the plane crash, but not in this video. So let's continue. So I have to 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 have Okay. Hey guys, so what are you to I want you to give your opinions too. I Okay. So guys, it has been really amazing um walking through San Jose town with Fasu and um love. Um, we reached to a certain point where they had rubber, we saw the moss, we saw the first church that was built, we saw the clinic as well, the clinic that was built as a result of the plane crash that happened in 1951. And we're seeing all these houses and amazing people. Yes, saw Mam Busu, and it was amazing. So, at least for me, from my point of view, so love, um, how does it feel being in Sanoye? I mean, you have taken a scroll around the town, so what do you like and what do you dislike? Um, actually, I love the people here. It's so amazing. It's so caring. Mm -hmm. Friendly. Down to earth. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, second day, you know, throughout my life, I haven't heard anything about in you know, history. Like, they had a big crash, and then it was today that I sat down with a guy, and then he was in. It's just stories about the pink crash. But so far, it has been really, really amazing. And Kasu, how is it like? Um, how is it like carrying us around? Like I told you, mm -hmm. this is honestly uh, 
hospitable ground. Okay. That no stranger comes here and goes back without sharing any good stories. Okay. So I feel good that I have the opportunity to work with your team to, to, to carry you around places with Insanoe to observe nature and understand a lot of things that are yet known by the public. Yeah, so it's awesome being with you guys. Okay, y'all, yeah, and from my point, you already know where I stand. It's amazing being with Love oh, and yeah. Fasu, so and it's that. amazing being in San <laughs> <laughs> At least I know, I know a little history. Yeah. At least you know something Sawa Security mm -hmm. woman. <laughs> <laughs> no, she'll do that Sawa Security on the Gina. Yeah! You need to track that to track it! <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all. So, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for being so amazing. If you're new, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and tap the notifications bell. I have another of amazing videos coming your way from Sanoye and other parts of Liberia. So, love you all so much. Bye bye.